Good evening. Oh my God. Hello. Hello my teacher. I'm glad to see you. Oh, my best you? teacher. I'm <laughs> glad to see you this day. Uh, you are my teacher again? Yes, that's the way. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a great idea. A <laughs> great idea. Okay. How are you doing? Madeline? I'm fine, teacher. Always. I'm, I'm trying and to understand all this this day. <laughs> okay, that's great to hear. Um, so we have Violeta Mariona, Adriana Roca. Okay, let's see who else is joining today. Is teacher is this first class this day or tomorrow? Is today or first class or tomorrow? Today, the first, ah, I, I'm, first class. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to call to my friend Alicia. Alicia. Because she told me, no, tomorrow is the first class. She thought that tomorrow we have our first class. Really? Is she on the group? I, I'm going to call her. Yes, uh, Ninive is also on the group. I didn't see her before. Okay, good. Alicia. Oscar, I think he, he was with us too. Okay, guys, um, good evening. Welcome to, what is this? basic one right <laughs> is it no what level is it i don't know you tell me pre-advanced pre-advanced one advanced one yes repeat advanced 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 advanced, advanced. There you go, Violeta. Great job. <laughs> advanced, pre-advanced one. Wow. Pre-advanced one. Oh, my God. Hello, Alicia. Hello. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Okay. Hello, Alicia. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Marilyn. <laughs> okay. That's good that you are uh, a new teacher. Uh, the the other, other time, our you teacher. You are our <laughs> teacher again. You are our yeah, teacher. Yeah, you again. are at, uh, our teacher again. Great. Thank That's you. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to That's be good. with you too. So good. I'm very happy to be with you too, guys. <laughs> okay, well, today is our introductory class, our first class. So I want to point out some details. Okay. I want to point out some details. Okay. Very important details. Um, because it's our first day. So let me start by getting your attention. Okay, I just mute you all because I need your attention, your full attention. Um, number one, and I'm gonna be writing this on the chat. Okay, so number one, um, how can we say there's a quiet environment? Okay, hmm. is this V as in Victor? Yes, I think, no. Well, a quiet environment is very important for us to have a quiet environment. Why? Can somebody tell me why? Let's start practicing. You have to talk. I'm not going to talk all day. So you tell me, why is it important to have a because quiet environment? Because we have to focus. 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 That's focus. Right. focus. Focus. Yes. Focus. <laughs> exactly. Why? Why? Why else? We have to put a, uh, to pay attention you to have the to class. Pay pay attention to the class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why else? There's a still one more reason why a quiet environment is important. For concentration. To focus, uh -huh. so, as we said, to be concentrated, perfect. In order to understand okay. all the class. To understand the whole the whole class. Whole Violeta, class. Violeta, you have the word. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> you were saying hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just want I just want to say hi to my 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 classmate. Excellent. Okay. So the main reason why I need you to be in a quiet environment 
is respect. Okay? So I know this is a virtual environment. We are not in a live class. However, you need to respect your classmates, okay? Respect your teacher and respect the class. There's no classroom here, but you have to respect the class, the whole class. So let's take very good care of that aspect. Please be on a, on a quiet environment. If your husband is watching TV, okay, while you're in the class, just stand up, okay? Stand up and go with him. Shut up. Right? Okay? <laughs> go ahead and do it. Feel free. Feel free to stand up and say to your husband, please turn off the TV for one hour. Okay? Or go somewhere else. It's just an advice, but please try to do it to avoid um, annoying. You know what is annoying, right? To avoid annoying other classmates. Okay, number two, and even more important, the platform. Okay, why is it important to complete the exercises on the platform? Mm -hmm. Can somebody tell me? Because we have to practice the theory. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Alicia. It's necessary and and to to make all the homeworks in, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the the module is is very important obtain obtain the diploma and do it all. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's very important. All. All. all to do all. It, all to do it all. Very good. All. So it is very important for you to do all of the exercises, the homeworks, complete them. Mm -hmm. um, change who you are. That lazy person, you know, that tired person every day, I know. I know you are tired every day, but if you want to accomplish a goal in your life, schedule your time okay schedule your time every day Madeline you go okay my class finishes at 9 a.m. at 9 p.m. at 9 p.m. so at 9 p.m. I'm gonna go to the platform and do the exercises do the homework and I will ask the teacher okay um, so sé que esto es pre avanzado pero lo voy a dejar claro Sí, yo también paso ocupado, pero después de las 10 yo me quedo revisando el WhatsApp. Es la única hora en la que reviso mi WhatsApp. Y después de las 10, pues me quedo revisando todos los comentarios. Si alguien necesita ayuda, pues a las 10 empiezo yo a revisar. Es una costumbre que estoy retomando dentro de esta vida ocupada. Ok, so back to English. Questions? Questions about that? Any questions? No. 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 All is clear. Everything yes, is clear. It's clear. Everything is clear. <laughs> At 10 o'clock, I will send you the, the message. The WhatsApp. Yeah, you can even tell me, hey, teacher, if done. Teacher, done with the platform. Done. Okay? So you don't you don't run behind. You you go ahead actually, not you don't run behind. Okay, um that's the most important thing. Do the platform exercises and be on your classes. You must be in your classes. Okay, so I'm gonna write it down. Um commit with yourself. To be on time. To be thank you, to be on time in the class on the class because we're in virtual classes okay so on the class okay and finally even more important okay participate okay you have to talk not me we're going to use something called uh, the pareto law you know what is pareto who is pareto no no, I don't know. El 80-20, the 80-20. Statistic. 
It's a statistic, right, Factor? Can you tell us more about it, Violeta? It's like a, a, it's a graphic that we, a, a, we have to, we have to do 80% and 20% of the things mm -hmm. we were studying or I don't know, we were talking. Yeah, it's uh, every time it's about that. Excellent. Thank you very much, Violeta. Great job. So you can explain something giving your own example. For example, Violeta, how many of your clothes do you use on your closet? How, how, how much of your clothes do you use? The 80% or the 20%? You didn't get it? I didn't understand because you were no no. I didn't okay. hear. Okay. How many of your shoes do you use every day? The 20% or the 80% of your shoes? Shoes. Okay, no? Shoes. She she got frozen. Okay. Another example. Who is um who holds, who holds the biggest uh, amount of money in El Salvador? Okay. Rich people or poor people? Rich people. Rich. Rich. No, the 20%, okay, the 20%, 20 uh, rich people. is rich people, 80% mm -hmm. is poor people. Mm -hmm. So in the classroom, you're going to be poor. In a, no, 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 no. In the classroom... <laughs> <laughs> in the classroom you are going to talk an 80 percent and i will talk at 20 percent okay deal oh, yes okay deal yes. we have a deal yes deal? Uh, yes, deal? yes. Okay. I <laughs> okay. that's that's the uh that's the main idea and one last thing guys um really quick if i may eh, lo que he aprendido en seis años de estar dando clases es que es, cuando se habla en español, porque tú naciste hablando español, yo nací hablando español, como les decía en el video que envié el chat, eh, es que cuando te hablo en español la idea entra súper rápido, incluso puedo hablar muchísimo más rápido y tú me estás entendiendo cada palabra. Entonces, súper rápido, si yo te corrijo, no te sientas intimidado, no te sientas que, ay, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Solo a mí me pasa corrigiendo el teacher, es que yo no, qué oso, Dios mío, qué pena, oh my God. No, no te frustres. Regla número uno, estás en avanzado, preavanzado, ya casi que avanzado. Entonces, hay que echarle ganas. Ahora más que nunca te invito a que no tires la toalla, que no faltes ningún día. Porque puede ser que ese día que faltase casualmente, tocamos el tema en el que tú siempre te bebís repitiendo a ti mismo que no puedes. Cada vez que vemos ese tema, o sea, los números, el verbo to be o el abecedario incluso, ya han avanzado el vocabulario, eh, pues eh, tú digas, en esto es en lo que fallo. Y ese día que faltaste, vimos eso. Entonces, ¿sí? Te okay. puede pasar. It's very important. Ok. So, um, do you have any questions? No? Teacher, uh, is, is there a, a new is there a new chat uh, for the group or is the same? No, there is a new WhatsApp group. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, uh, you should have received the invitation on your email. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the reminder. Hello, Veronica. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How can I call you? Teacher oh, thank you. or just Rafael? Or... Oh. Whatever you want. I'm your friend. I'm your teacher. But please uh, feel confident in the class. Have some confidence. I'm 38 years old. I'm married. I have three kids. Um, well, oh my God, what am I doing? Wait, ask me. Thank you for the question. <laughs> That's the first activity. I'm sorry. First activity. Three boys head to. You know. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, if you don't know me, ask me questions. Let's start with that. Uh, what do you want to know? What would you like to know? 
I have a question. Thank you, Daniela. And I am new, so I don't know how to do this. Um, how do you work on the platform? Because below the videos are a discussion. So that's we work on class or we work for um, nosotros mismos? By ourselves. By ourselves. Okay, How? thank you. Very good. That's a very important question. Just let me send this. Okay, this is PA1. Okay, let's talk about the platform really quick. Where did I leave that thing? Hold on here. Okay, this is pre-intermediate. So let me share my screen with you to start discussing this really quick. Okay, so here's the platform. Show video panel, okay. As you can see, this is your platform. Here you have the topics. Here's the objective of the lesson, the video. Underneath every video, there is a discussion forum. I cannot read it. You cannot see it? Okay. Yes. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. So you have a discussion forum. This is for you to practice, Andrea. Here, you have to practice. It's not evaluated, no es evaluado. However, after every class, you have to go here, click on um, add a post, you see, and start a discussion, okay? The title, okay, the title can be, for example, relative pronouns as subjects, which is today's class. Why and I cannot click this, but well. So it, it will be relative clauses. You can simply type that. Okay, oh my God, cups. I cannot read it. You cannot read it? No. Okay, better? Yes, yes. Okay, so relative clauses, for example, and then you start a question. You can give an example. Um, I don't know. Oh, yesterday. Uh, for example, you are giving an example. And that's it. I will tell you at the end of this class, for example, Please submit an example. You see, I clicked on submit and here's my example. So let's say uh, Veronica comes to your comment and she is going to click on your comment and mm -hmm. then add a response. If you had it wrong, Veronica could tell you, uh, something different, right? The boy there, is the one that I talked to you about. Give another example and so on. It's a chain, okay? Is a chain, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a chain that you need to follow just to practice, just to practice. So that's underneath each video. Okay, thank you. Now, this, uh, Daniela, this is your job. Every section contains knowledge checks. The first one, you see? And you have to complete these exercises and submit them every day. Puedes hacer cuantos intentos sean necesarios aunque te equivoques. El punto es autocorregirse. Okay? Here you have another one. Another one and another one. One, two, three, four. For this week is four knowledge checks. Okay? Okay. Questions? Yes, and um, thank you. Only that bar was missing. Yeah. Can you repeat that again, Daniela? Only that bar was missing. Just that part. Okay, perfect. Yes. 
Excellent. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, another question. Anybody has another question? Does anybody know? Okay, good. Are you sure? Well, any other question you may have about this guy, this ugly guy talking to you? Mm -hmm. No more questions? No more questions. Okay. okay, so welcome to the class. Uh, today is our first day. Let's start with pre-advanced one. Uh, my name is Rafael Rodriguez, Rafael Linares. That's the way that they know me in English Corporativo by Rafael Linares. So if, if anybody ever asks you, um, who's your teacher? Just tell them, oh, Linares, <laughs> okay? Or Rafael Linares, okay? That's me. I have, I have six years experience teaching English. I was a manager, as you heard in the video. Currently, currently I'm working at a call center here in my house from 5 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And then I go running, I go in a rush to Fe Alegria and I teach from 1 to 5 p.m. to teenagers. And then I come here and I have dinner with my family and then I teach from 8 to 10 to you, okay? All day, aren't you busy? And then I stay from 10 to 12 working on something else. <laughs> okay. So that's me. That's me. I love working. I'm a workaholic. I'm a workaholic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's start by defining words. What is a workaholic, Vadi? Hello, Vadi. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. I'm new in this group. Nice Beautiful accent, you. great accent. Vadi, what is a workaholic? Workaholic is a person that is a fan to the work, to the job. Is a busy, busy person. All day, um, night, maybe. All day and night, okay. Like you. Thank you, thank you, yes. Is someone like who you. is, uh-huh, addictive. You are an addict to be working a whole day, yeah. But if I'm not working, I get sick, really. Okay, let's start. So today we're gonna start by watching a video with Jose about relative pronouns, okay, that will help us um, to create a different structure in words. So please pay attention. I'm going to mute you. Please put attention. Pay attention. One second. So we got two pieces of information. And what we want to do here is describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples. And at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information and we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who are into serious. Or you could say, I like guys that are into serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? 
I like people. So that could vary. You could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right. So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative. Okay. Um, and then the and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they that disappear. And we changed it to they uh, to and we changed it to who or we changed it to that. Okay, so I like guys who aren't too serious. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. And the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Um, and that's because we're using a noun to uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen. And that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear. And that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor, or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together, and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information, and what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they, and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. Okay, that was simple, right? Questions? And then the Any questions? Could you? Teacher, when I use uh, um, that, and when I use... When do I? When do I use um, they? No, um, uh, and when I, do I use that? Use that or who? Okay. That's the main question, right? The main question right now is when do I use that and when do I use who? Yes, is okay. that a question? Okay, who can give me the answer? It's the same. On this example, yes, it is mm -hmm. the same. So it is optional. Why? Because you can use for people, okay? For people, you can use that or who, okay? So following Jose's example, I like 
to meet people. Okay, and as per Jose's example, they are funny. Okay, who can help me rewriting this sentence? I like to meet people who are funny. Yep. Okay. Who are funny. Right? Mm -hmm. I like to meet people who are funny. So in other words, in other words. I like to meet, I like to meet people that are funny. That are funny, who are funny, yes, both. Why? Because that and who means Okay. 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 <laughs> that's simpler, right? Okay. That's even yeah, that's simpler. It's, it's easier to explain this in that way, okay? Teacher, I know who is is quien. 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 As well. Quien? Yes. You can say that too. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on the context, Madeline. It depends on the context. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So I like to meet people. They are funny. I like to meet people que o quienes son graciosos, right? Who are funny. Que son, que son graciosos. Okay. It's like saying I like to meet funny people. And that's why this is this sounds so strange. I like to meet funny people. And then you qualify the noun, right? If you want to qualify the noun with this adjective, I like to meet funny people. You see? That's the difference. I like to meet people who are funny. Okay, can somebody make another example? Don't worry, I will. So if we don't have a, a volunteer, let's select a victim. Uh, Alicia, what's your favorite color? Quickly. Uh, yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. There's nobody with yellow. Oh, well, actually, Aravela has some yellow background. Hello, Aravela. Hello. Hello, how's it going, Aravela? Um, <laughs> you forgot already. How's it going? You don't remember? <laughs> oh my God. It was just one week. How's it going? You don't remember? Como le va? Ah, okay. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Great. Awesome. Okay. Aravela, can you make an example following this pattern? I like to meet people. They are funny. Uh, I I like uh, I like to pasta no <laughs> well, I like puede ser con comida <laughs> it has to be people for now ah okay okay a okay. person I like Okay. You can say I guys. like to meet meet with with my family mm -hmm. because uh oh, who are very uh, who are uh, uh, in, in, interesting. <laughs> Good. They are interesting. They are I help you a little bit there. Okay, so let's see. I like to gather, okay, I like to gather with my family members. They are interesting. Okay. Now, okay. how do we use the relative clause here? The, some, I'm sorry, the subject pronoun. Um, Anybody? Yeah. 
I like to get, get how, gather. how to gather with my family members who, who are interesting. Excellent. With my family members who are interesting. Repeat, interesting. Interesting. Again, interesting. Intre, intre, interesting. 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 Yeah. Interesting. interesting. Now, the stress, the stress on the syllable goes here, falls here. Interest. Oh, no, no, no. What did I do? Hold on. Interesting. There's the stress. Remember the stress? The stress of, of the syllable? Interesting. Okay, so gather is the same as get together, right? Get together. I like to gather with my family members who are interesting or exactly that are interesting. Okay, questions. No, no questions. No Our questions. Clean. Okay, so you were tasked. Okay, you were. Yeah, sorry. I have, uh, I have one. Okay. Um, I like to study with my students. They are intelligent. Um, I like <laughs> to study with my students who are intelligent. 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 Uh -huh. Intelligence? No, intelligent. Only. Let's say let's say smart. Smart. They it's, are smart. It's better. It's better to. Uh, yes, to, it's the same. Smart. Smart and intelligent is the same thing. Okay, okay, so let's see. I like to study with my students. They are. Uh, who are? Who are smart? Who are smart? Who are smart? Who are smart? Who are, are, uh, who are, are, are S. Uh -huh. Who are smart? Who are smart. Who are smart. You yes. got it. Thank because you, yes. Madeline. Yes. Yes. OK, thank you. Perfect, Madeline. Thank you. Um, I like to study with my students that are smart. OK, so there you're discriminating your students and saying that not all of them are smart. Okay, good. <laughs> your duty, okay? This is your duty right now. Okay, your task, if you want. Okay, write down three sentences with and without uh, the object pronouns, okay? You got it? Let me check something. Right. For now, teacher? With, with oh, for tomorrow. No, right now. Right, right now. Pronouns. Right yeah, now. I'm, I'm okay. going to I'm going to split. Okay. I will split the class so you can collaborate. Mm -hmm. You can work in groups. Okay. okay. And let me send this to your chat. Do you have any questions? No. Sure? Yes. <clears throat> okay, let me stop sharing. I will send this to your chat right now. You have. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay, Stanley, not a problem. I got your message. Okay, I'll split you guys. Please practice. Please practice, okay? Let's see, how many are we? We are 15, that's awesome. Okay, let's do it. Please accept the invitation.
hit hit home about so about the exercise. Then we may uh we doing the the the, the statement with the, the example they they give. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Three we, statement with and without. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we have to three three example in, mm. in group. Mm -hmm. One by one, only have you and me. Yeah. Only... Okay. Sorry, uh, Arabel. Hello, Arabel. Arabel. Hello. Ah, oh, okay. Hello. Mm. Hello. I didn't see. I didn't see. Um. Uh, two uh, sentences. Yes. Um, yes. With with uh with with and without. Mm -hmm. with sentences. Yeah. Then I. Uh, uh, I on, only with people. Okay. Yeah. That is, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have I to create like, uh, three. That, I, I like to travel with my husband yeah. or with my family. Uh, this is the first. Yes. Right. This is with, with this statement is with the uh, with, with and who out without. Yes. Then okay. uh, without. I uh, okay without. I going to I go to the I go to the work without uh my with my i uh, know without my boss maybe i i am going to the work i going to to the work i want to the work i want to the work the work without mm -hmm. without my boss maybe or without, without my boss uh-huh yeah, uh huh. Maybe, maybe. my my book. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. Uh, other. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I. I I like the concert, but. Uh, with my coworker. I like the. I like the concert. The concert. I like the concert. The uh -huh. concert. Of, the concert. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, without, yeah. Uh -huh. without, without, uh, uh -huh. without. I know with my coworker. Without. Okay. Let's see. My, um, uh, let my coworker. Let's let's talk about this for a minute. Okay. Vamos a hablar de eso por un minuto. Miren el ejemplo que les puse en el chat aquí de Zoom. Dice, I like the girl. She is standing next to the fountain. Ok, a mí me gusta la chica. Ella está parada junto a la fuente. Ok, I like the girl. Who is standing next to the fountain. O sea, me gusta la chica que está parada junto a la fuente. Ok. Entonces, esa es una cláusula relativa que une las ideas, une las dos oraciones. ¿Ya? Ahora, estamos ocupando that y who, porque esas son las que se ocupan para personas estrictamente. A veces para objetos se puede ocupar that, pero siempre es una selección entre varios objetos. Por ejemplo, um, I like expensive cars. Oh, perdón, I like cars. Sería la primera opción. I like cars. Um, they are expensive. Sería no, la segunda. No, no, no. Hola. Sorry. Ok, so repito. A ver. I like cars. They are expensive. 
Vaya, ahí está la siguiente, el siguiente ejemplo. ¿Cómo lo pasaría esto con cláusulas relativas? With relative clauses. Ah, ok. I like, I like car. Pero That are expensive. That, muy bien. Mari, ¿eh? That, I like. Uh, teacher, hey. I, think, I think that confusion was with you uh, said us uh, the words with and without. Yes. Uh -huh. O sea, el punto uh -huh. es, with sería el primer ejemplo, perdón, without, ¿sí? sin las cláusulas relativas sería el primer ejemplo. I like cars, they are expenses. Eso es sin el tema que estamos viendo. ¿Ok? Con el tema que estamos viendo, que es that and who, sería el segundo ejemplo. With. Uh -huh. Ok. Eso sería with. Uh -huh. With the example. So I like cars that are expensive. En este ejemplo no podría ocupar who. No estoy hablando de personas, sino de objetos. I like cars that are expensive. Y tiene mucho sentido. Ok, me gustan los carros. Son caros. Ok, me gustan los carros que son caros. Ok. Ah, ok, ok. I see, yeah. Ok. So, yeah. That's, that's the only thing you have to do. So, in other words, you're going to write six sentences. Two, I mean, three without. Ok, and three with relative clauses. Ok, relative pronouns as subjects. Ok, so continue. Keep going, I'll be back with you. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, I, the, I like to I show. understand. Well, mm -hmm. Mm To leave the room, or I don't know I what don't we have know. to do. Uh, I think, oh, okay. I think right now is. Okay. Rafael, are Hello. you here? Yes. Okay. <risa> ok, típicamente yo me uno a los grupos eh, sin video como para hacer de caso que no estoy ahí y de solo verles, monitorearles qué es lo que están haciendo, ok. Um, y usualmente ocupo el chat, ocupo el chat de Zoom para enviarles ejemplos, irles corrigiendo cualquier palabra que escuche mal pronunciada, por ejemplo, ya. Eso sirve de mucho para que ustedes estén en la libertad de hablar sin contar con que yo los esté viendo, ¿verdad? Sí, tranquilos, no pasa nada. Ya nos oyeron. So, <risa> Veamos. Creo que no quedó muy claro lo de los ejemplos o, o si sí lo lograron hacer. No. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah? Okay. Can you give yeah. me your examples? Let's see. Violeta. Help okay. us, please. Okay. <laughs> I I read it. You okay. wrote it. Wrote it. Oh, you read it. Oh, you're gonna read it. I'm I'm reading. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, I love to be with people who who are easy, no, yes, who are easy going. Easy going, okay. That's with, okay, that is with. With? Yeah, with what we are applying right now. I but that love is to be. with the relative pronouns as subjects, okay. okay. With people who are or easy going okay easy going so how will it be without without the relative pronouns as subjects i love to be with people they are easy going good very good okay another example Nineveh, adriana Mm, okay. Um... Violeta wrote the three example because <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Yes, I, but I, I remember uh, one. I don't uh, remember the, the, I don't, the politic. We're I don't like, you say the we're politic. talking about the, the politic. The politic. <laughs> I don't like talk with people who are politics fans. Po politi politics fans, okay. <laughs> I don't like to talk to people. They are politic fan politics fans. With people who are politics okay. fans. Okay. 
Good. That's the idea. That's the idea. Great job. Okay, Adriana. Uh, I have to remember about the one that I said. Ah, I don't like people who listen reggaeton. Oh, <laughs> yes, who listen to Bad Bunny. Uh, I hate that. Perfect. <laughs> we hate that's a good example <laughs> yeah. but we we can't yeah. we can't say hate people <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but we don't like people who yeah. sings reggaeton <laughs> perfect third person who sings reggaeton you got it excellent guys okay <laughs> well let's go back to see if everybody else is doing its job keep practicing okay, okay? keep practicing i'll be right back with you good okay. job okay. Entonces nos quedamos aquí. ¿no? Oh, beautiful Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it again. Do it again. You can do it. Bye bye. To write my sister. Which... Yes, you you have to use a person or people. Okay, so it was. I like to practice with her or. With... With the person who okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, so there are two parts, right? Hay dos partes de este ejercicio. Miren los ejemplos que les he puesto en les he puesto en el chat, Wendy, Daniela, Jarvin. Okay. Okay. So la primera cláusula okay. es sin el tema que estamos abordando ahorita, que son relative pronouns, como sujetos. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, I okay. like the girl. Primera oración sería, I like the girl. She is standing next to the fountain. Uh -huh. Son dos oraciones separadas. Okay. Nada que ver. La otra es, I like the girl who is standing next to the fountain. Un significado totalmente diferente. Okay. O está direccionándote a donde está la chica. Okay. ¿Cuál chica es la que me gusta? La que está parada junto a la fuente. La fuente. que está parada junto a la fuente. Ok. En cambio, si yo digo, I like the girl. She's standing next to the fountain. Me gusta la chica. Está parada junto a la, a la fuente. Como que son dos oraciones diferentes, ¿no? Next okay. example. Mm -hmm. I like cars. They're expensive. Me gustan los carros. Son caros. I like cars that are expensive. Me gustan los carros que son caros. Específicamente esos, los que mm -hmm. son caros. En ese ejemplo no puedo ocupar who porque estoy hablando de objetos, ¿no? That. Ok. Ok. Can you try it? I, I, have, I have one example. Yep. My example was mm -hmm. uh, I, I like to practice English with my sister. She is a smart. And then with the relative pronoun I wrote, I like to practice English with my sister who is a smart. Perfect. Is that okay? Totally. That's a good example. Okay. Excellent. Daniela, do you have a question? No, I am okay. Oh, you're okay? Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Let's go back to the team to see if everybody got the idea okay let's go hi teacher <laughs> we finished quickly quickly yeah you have mute okay you three were together right alicia yeah. andrea and stanley okay no yeah no only andrea and me Stanley, no. Is Stanley there? Hello, Stanley. Hello, teacher. Are um, you? I, I, I'm fine. You're okay? Okay, you were listening, right? Okay, yes. Okay, good. Good, good. So, uh, Alicia, Andrea, can you, well, let's wait for the rest, but do you have any questions? Mm, no. Uh, that's only, the, the examples are are with uh, people, with um, with um, students or nouns of of people. 
people nouns. But, mm -hmm. but people nouns. And uh, you have to, to use these um, pronouns with another uh, kind of nouns, for example, a uh, food or something else. If you pluralize the nouns, uh -huh. yes. For ah, example, okay. for example, uh, I like beans. I or... was thinking about beans too. <laughs> <laughs> Plural, okay. Beans. I like beans. Uh -huh. <laughs> they are soft and delicious. No. Okay, good. That's without the relative pronoun. Oh, okay. Now add the relative pronoun. Uh huh. I like beans that are soft and delicious. You got it. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, when you use, we can use other other nouns, other kind yes. of nouns, but in plural. And if you are using objects, not people, you can only use that. Not who. That, ah, okay. No, who, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank yes, you. because as Madeline said, right? Who is quien mm -hmm. too, right? So It's for, uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a right. person. Okay, okay, I want, thank I you. want to hear another example. Who did, who did an outstanding job? Who did an outstanding job? Gonna write it? Outstanding. What is outstanding? I don't remember, teacher. Tell me. Oh, come on, Madeline. I don't remember right now. Please, outstanding. In my mind, I maybe I, but right now I cannot to say them. I cannot say. Uh huh. I have an example. Good. Daniela has an example. Let's listen. I love dogs. They are cute, and with the relative pronouns is I love dogs that are cute. Perfect. See, it's very simple. This is very simple, guys. Great job, Daniela. Anybody else? I remember. Outstanding, I don't know. I remember outstanding. I'm, go I'm hmm. going to, to look for it. We have another teacher. I, I, was about, I was about to say something. I don't drink, okay? But I, I was thinking about you guys, you, okay? I like <laughs> beers. <laughs> I like beers. Mm, they are sweet. I like beers that are sweet, just the sweet beers. And in reality, when I drink something, I like the Smirnoff ice, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't like uh sour beers you know that's me i'm very I, sweet i don't like you don't like what i don't like that <laughs> uh that okay you don't like that beers no no more now. whiskey oh no, no more before <laughs> no i can i don't like it you don't no. like alcoholic it. beverage no. like alcoholic beverages alcoholic Perfect. beverages Good, Beverage. Alicia. Good, okay. Alicia. What Great job. What is, what is mean? The Holy. meaning of alcoholic beverages. Alcoholic. Alcoholic beverage. No, I, I don't like it. Alcohol. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, that's, that's all Only for today. in my hands. Only in my hands for the virus. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Alcohol gel. <laughs> Alcohol in my hands only. Okay, guys, okay. I hope you liked today's lesson. Please study uh, this topic. Go to the, to the platform and check the video over and over again so you can get it. Now, before we leave, what is outstanding then? What is the meaning outstanding. of outstanding? No, I don't, mm, I don't remember. Amazing. Ah, wonderful amazing okay. outstanding great the same outstanding yes you're doing an amazing job amazing. okay you're doing a terrific job okay so okay we will i will see you tomorrow so we can continue with this lesson okay at this time okay. Okay. practice okay. todo lo que no estoy practicando se arruina entonces lo que has aprendido hasta ahora <laughs> repetilo todos los días agarra un cuaderno solo para reescribir estructuras que ya viste okay 
Okay. okay. I'll see you tomorrow you at 8 o'clock. Good, Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night